Hello everyone, this is Rhythmic, and today we're going to talk about the Steam Controller for Warframe. Now there are not a lot of good Steam Controller videos out there, and there are definitely not a lot of Steam Controller videos pertaining to Warframe out there. So I decided to talk about the Steam Controller and how to set it up, and also give my impression on how to use the Steam Controller for Warframe. So uh, things you need to know about this controller before you even get one is that it's completely different from other controllers. It uses a trackpad instead of a thumbstick to emulate a mouse. It also uses gyroscopic sensors. It's extremely helpful and intuitive haptic feedback. Um, it's really good at um, basically letting you know what's going on with the controller. So when you're on a trackpad, the haptic feedback sort of gives you this sensation that there's something underneath the trackpad that's moving. Now there isn't anything underneath there, at least I don't think, uh, but the haptic feedback makes the thing feel like there's mechanical pieces moving around back there. And it helps you know what's going on. It's a lot better than it looks. Uh, when you first look at it, it may look sort of cheap, but uh, they put less money in the appearance of it, and I would say more money on, in the features and the software behind it. Now the back buttons uh, on the trackpad, uh, sorry, on the controller, pretty much makes it so that you don't need to take your thumb off the trackpad in order to do some of your actions. So things like jumping or uh, reloading or things that you do a lot, you're going to want to put that on the back button so you don't have to stop you know, what you're doing just to do that. Um, you know, they try to replace the mouse and keyboard or at least make a really good alternative with it. And I think so far that they actually did a pretty good job. Uh, so in order to set it up, you need to plug in the USB dongle um, and then the uh, driver for the Steam controller will automatically download. Uh, from there you want to open Steam in big picture mode. The controller won't work unless you're in Steam um, and you won't be able to configure the controller unless you're in big picture mode. Um, when you start a game um, it's going to prompt you to choose a layout for your controller. Now you could either choose a layout from the community, which there are tons of to choose from. Um, right now there isn't really any, any uh, real way to rate them except for you know what's most used. But the most used controller might not necessarily be the best. Um, also you could just use the template that Warframe made for their own game or use one of the many general uh, templates that Steam made. Which, which work pretty well for most games, but you're going to have to tweak it a little bit to make it perfect. Uh, one thing that I want to mention is when you first get the controller, Steam is going to say if you want to take advantage of all of the features, use the beta client, use the Steam beta client. And that is true. If you use the Steam beta client, you actually get access to a few more features and I think I think really the controls are a little bit more refined so it's going to be a little more accurate but I chose not to use the beta client because in general betas are not as stable and when I switched to the beta, beta client I found that I was crashing a few times and that gets kind of annoying in Warframe because sometimes you could be uh, on the same mission for an hour and there's nothing uh, more irritating than you know being in a survival mission for an hour and then the whole thing just crashing on you um, and losing all of your drops. That's really frustrating. So if you're going to use this for high-end missions, I would recommend against using the beta client. So let's talk about uh, my layout and what I decided to do with the controller. Uh, and that might be a little bit different than what you do. So let's see, the way I've had my setup, uh, I'm going to show you a video kind of briefly of what everything looks like. But basically my right trigger is set to fire and my left trigger, um, counterintuitively, is actually set to crouch if I hold it softly and to jump if I press it hard. Um, and I have the analog set to hip fire mode so that if I press it really quickly, it'll just go straight to jump. But if I hold it and then press it fully, it will actually crouch and then jump. And the reason why I did it this way is because in Warframe, if you crouch and jump, you'll do that bullet jump, and, and this makes it really easy to do that bullet jump, um, which I, I actually do quite a lot. And I also slide quite a lot. So this is basically why I replaced the iron sight on the left trigger with uh, the slide and jump. Uh, it just works best for me. 
Now the left thumbstick obviously is to move, that's nothing new. The trackpad I use to aim or look around, um, which is a little bit different than the thumbstick. Actually, it's, it's more intuitive actually in, in my opinion. It feels better than a thumbstick. Uh, the D-pad, the uh, or I don't know what it is, it kind of looks like a D-pad, but I basically use that as a touch menu for power abilities and uh, for item pop-up. So uh, it's actually pretty intuitive as well. I, I don't need to use the power menu like like you know normally you would press the right bumper and, and then you would press one of the four buttons. So with this, I could just press anywhere uh, on my uh, trackpad, on my not my trackpad, my D-pad, uh, and depending on where I press, uh, that will happen. So, so either ability or item pop-up. Um, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, the left grip, uh, which is on the back side of the the controller, I'm actually using that for iron sight and it's not as intuitive as the left trigger but it's very close to um, being just as natural to use as using the left trigger and since I'm using the left trigger to jump I'm gonna basically use that uh, for iron sight uh, and then I'm using the right grip uh, to basically switch on and off my gyroscopic aiming and uh, I you know as you will probably see from the video gyroscopic aiming really makes this really intuitive basically I point the controller where I want to shoot um, and the reticle goes that way uh, which makes it really easy makes it really intuitive I don't even have to think about it it's just it's just natural it's like holding a real gun you just point and shoot uh, now if I click on the touchpad that will do my melee attack have to admit that's not the best place to put it but um, Pretty much everything else is being used. Uh, so this is basically the best place I could find to put a melee button. I tried it in other places and this just this just works best for me. I, I tried other setups and this is basically what works the best. You know, you don't have as many buttons as a keyboard, so you're gonna have to sacrifice a, maybe one or two things. I don't really melee all that much. Um, and when I do melee, it's kind of just, you know, hack and slash. So it's not like I have to be that comfortable with it anyway. So now if you like my bindings, you can find them in the community list. Uh, in the list of templates that the community has come up with. It's definitely somewhere near the bottom because I came up with it like not too long ago. Uh, from, you know, basically the last time I checked, you basically had to press X until you, to go to the next page until you get to the last page. And then it's the second to last, uh, template by the time of this video it probably won't be all the way at the end but you're gonna have to look for it there's no real way to search you can't type in rhythm man's pro bindings i wish you could it would make it a lot easier for you know people to advertise their um, stuff on youtube but you know maybe in the maybe in an update when they update the steam client uh, they'll be able to do that but for now you're just gonna have to look for it uh, so basically my impression about this controller when it comes to warframe I actually think it's a great controller for Warframe. Uh, Warframe is a little less traditional than most shooters, so I had to rearrange the buttons in a very unique way. There are a lot of abilities, uh, bullet jump, slide, uh, all different types of maneuvers um, that you don't normally get in a first person shooter. So that's why I did some wonky stuff like you know making a left trigger jump and things like that. But it actually works out really well um, because the way Warframe works, this actually makes it almost as intuitive as the keyboard after you get used to it. And you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna be a pro in the first, you know, 30 minutes that you use it. But after you get used to it, it actually almost feels just, you know, just as comfortable as using the keyboard and mouse. Uh, now, after getting used to this uh, layout, I'm not only able to aim and shoot with the same accuracy or even better than I did before with my mouse uh, but I can also jump and slide and do other activities without having to take my thumb off the trackpad as a matter of fact I only have to take it off the trackpad for uh, to basically to um, to activate consoles and stuff like that which which I could sacrifice for that because it's not like you know you got to aim at the console that bad or anything but the battery life on this thing by the way is pretty great um, it lasts for a really long time, much better than I think most other game paths out there. And the gyroscopic aiming on it is also very intuitive, 
you know, as soon as I flipped that on, my accuracy just went up right off the bat. You know, it didn't even really take a lot of practice to get used to it. But with practice, I got even better. Now, there is a downside to the controller as there is with everything. And that downside is it's very different and it does take some getting used to. It's not something that you're gonna get and then you know, you're gonna play like a pro uh, gamer on the first day that you pick it up. It's completely different than any other controller that you've used before. And it's definitely different than a keyboard and mouse, which is what I was used to. Uh, so it did take some getting used to, but I'm the kind of guy that actually doesn't mind that. Um, if I see the value in, in something, then I, you know, take the time to learn how to do it. Just like when I used to use game pads and, contro and controllers, I saw the value in using a keyboard and mouse, um, and I switched. And it wasn't an easy transition, but after that transition, my accuracy went way higher than uh, my friends who decided to stick with the game pad. Um, so, you know, it's the same thing with this. You're gonna have to invest some time into it, but if you do, I, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think if you have the time to invest and you're, and you're not the kind of person who's, who doesn't like change, I think you might actually enjoy this controller. Now I can't say with certainty, I can't say with 100% certainty if it's better than the mouse or if the mouse is better. Um, I know it's better than your regular controller, I can pretty much say that confidently. Um, is it better than a mouse? I really think that depends on your mouse. Now the mouse that I was using was not a game gaming mouse, uh, so the DPI wasn't high. Um, if you if you use a, a gaming mouse with a high DPI, that allows you to get higher accuracy, but it also makes your mouse really sensitive. So like just a small stutter, and your aim is way off. Uh, that's why I chose to use just a regular mouse. I know my aim was worse with a regular mouse, but it just felt like with the gaming mouse, it was just it it, it was just too sensitive. <laughs> so. so. That's basically, but with this thing, it's kind of intuitively, I didn't have to change settings all that much. I could if I wanted to, but even at the default settings, I felt like it was the right mix of sensitive and accurate. Whereas with my gaming mouse, I could never really fight, like really find the right place to put it. Um, if you do use a gaming mouse, you might be discouraged by the fact that your aim will go down a little bit. I don't really think, um, that should bother you too much because really this thing I, I think it was built basically to have the same sort of fidelity and accuracy as as a mouse once you get used to it and there are a lot of people who are already you know killing tons of people with, with the steam controller um, now if you like you know if you want to learn more about the Steam Controller, you know, just look out for more videos. I'm going to try to put more videos on my channel. There are videos out there. Some of them, you, I'm going to warn you, some of the videos out there, I don't think the reviewers really play with the mouse all that much. They sort of, you know, down talk the mouse, uh, down talk the controller and say, you know, this is not good, this is crap. It's not as good as the controller or as good as the game, uh, as the mouse and uh, is worse than both. And I, and I think that's a little bit of a biased opinion. Um, I think that's the opinion of somebody that doesn't want to take the time to get used to the, to the gamepad. Uh, now, if you like this video, and if you found this informative, uh, you know, just give me a like and a subscribe. Uh, you'll be able to see more videos about things like this, about Warframe, about the Steam controller. And if you, um, you know, took a look at my bindings on the community and you think that you can make it better just leave a comment with your suggestions and I'll take a look at that maybe I'll make that change and then upgrade my bindings or maybe somebody who watched this video will see the changes and, and make that uh, make that modification to to their bindings uh, but you know as always stay cool and uh, thanks for watching